A toddler might not survive, and her mother is dead after a tragic crash on Bayshore Boulevard. They were hit by a car while crossing the street. The 24-year-old was pushing her 21-month-old daughter in a stroller mm -hmm. when this happened, just awful. And the city announced just an hour ago that it's making a change, lowering the speed limit on Bayshore. Three young men in two different cars are charged with street racing that police say led to that deadly crash. All three of them are bonded out tonight. Police say 18-year-old Cameron Heron was driving the black Mustang that hit the mother and daughter at Bayshore Boulevard in Nights. Heron's brother, Tristan, is also facing charges as a passenger. And police say 17-year-old John Brownow was speeding in a gold Nissan. And one of the drivers, he'll be charged with vehicular homicide. Police say 24-year-old Jessica Reisinger was legally crossing Bayshore when she was hit. The deadly crash is raising questions about safety all along Bayshore Boulevard. Shannon, different groups have been pushing for changes on Bayshore for a while now, but we're finally actually seeing them happen, in fact, right in front of you, right? Right, the city of Tampa is speeding up an already planned project to lower the speed limit here on Bayshore from 40 to 35, and they are wasting no time. In fact, they are already here with those signs that read 35 miles per hour. Initially, they told us that they were going to start this tomorrow to change all of the speed limit signs, but as you can see right there, they are already up. As the memorial for 24-year-old Jessica Reisinger continued to grow, so did the frustration from Mary Jane Rickle and Sean Yuskaitis, people who have been fighting for years to make Bayshore safer for our community. We didn't need to wait. This woman did not need to be killed. None of this would have occurred had the city actually done what they said they were going to do, which was reduce speeds. I believe that we may be doing some things, but we're not doing everything to prevent the accidents and deaths that are occurring. So why is the city of Tampa taking so long to make improvements to Bayshore? Gene Duncan, director of transportation and stormwater services for Tampa, tells me the process isn't a fast one. She first submitted paperwork to the Federal Highway Administration to get funding for Bayshore in 2016. 12 years later, projects to improve this area are finally approved. We have a project under construction currently. It extends from Howard Avenue to Gandhi Boulevard. That is narrowing the existing travel lanes down to 10 feet. Uh, it's raising up the curb that was um, flush with the ground, so that curb gives better protections for drivers to, of course, stay in their lane. When we make those physical changes to the road, we will be uh, reducing the speed limit as well from 40 down to 35 miles an hour. Many people were also concerned with this crosswalk where the mother was killed, saying it should be visible for drivers. So we're very uh, thoughtful. We follow federal and state criteria on how we make the determination of where to put stripes and where not to put stripes. It's not just a um, you know, amenity that we just would want to have everywhere. To lower the speed limit was going to take several months. It was going to be completed in October to lower it from 40 to 35. Now it's going to start immediately. Also, I want to talk about that crosswalk uh, because the city of Tampa tells me that this, although it's not visible, it's still considered a crosswalk because of the way that ramp is entering the street. Again, for those of uh, you interested wanting to um, honor this mother who was killed and her toddler who is fighting in the hospital. They're going to be having a memorial, a vigil right here on Saturday at 1030 for anyone interested in joining that. For now, we're live on Bayshore Boulevard. I'm Shannon Valladolid, 10 News.